I'm the Sioux Attack here for Real Health. Today, we're talking about shocks and springs, the things that keep your car from bouncing too much. And we can't show it in a car, but I have this really cool mountain bike. It has the same setup right here. We have the spring like you have on all four corners of your car and inside it is a tiny shock absorber. In the car, it would be more upright, but I'll show you what happens. When you take the bounces, the spring compresses, takes the bounce and the shock absorber keeps it from bouncing on and on and on. And here's what happens in your car. When you hit a bump, it stops bouncing immediately. When your shocks that dampen that effect stop working, the car bounces down the road forever and ever and ever and it takes a very long time to stop and that's how you know your shocks aren't working. In fact, we'll demonstrate it on a real car. It's a really quick way to test whether you need shocks or not. All right, now here we are in front of a real life car and I'm gonna show you what I mean by the shock dampening effect. This is a really quick way to see if you need shocks on your car. When I press down on this fender, if the car keeps bouncing, the shocks have stopped their ability to dampen the motion, but if the shocks are working right, the car will come right back up and stop. Let's give it a try. There you go. Press down, it came up and stopped. The shocks are good. Real quick way of testing it and the shocks and springs are a very important part of your car's handling and stopping ability. So you want to make sure they're right.